good afternoon Jordan. It's it's uh, dinner time of 15th of December 2023 only 10 days to go before the mayhem and I'll make playing with my new toy the gyro 2 uh, basically it's a pusher version of the uh, tractor version not a lot of difference really apart from obviously the, the front of the fuselage I've had to extend the front of the fuselage so I can uh, get the battery far enough forward to get the right hang angle or centre of gravity whichever way you want to uh, look at it um, the mast is vertical which on the original it was it was tipped back about five degrees uh, the reason for that is I've got the motor mount which slides up and down down it just keeps everything horizontal and square uh, the motor's different I've gone for a higher kV motor which is something I wanted to test before I uh, proceed any further with my um, little Nelly that's about a third of the way built. Uh, the tail feathers are the same, there's nothing different there. The blades are the same. Well, I say the blades are the same, these are slightly different because they're, they've they got no shims in, so I've altered the profile a little bit. So hopefully, uh, they, they seem to spin up okay. Um, I've gone with a tail dragger, which is something I've not done before with a pusher. So I was a bit worried that you know it, it was going to nose over. I've moved it far enough forwards that I think it's it's in the right place. It seems to track okay, and the hops and the trimming hops were, were fine. So um, I've really got no issues with that now. I've had to put bolt, well not bolt, tape some uh, lead weight on the nose to get my hang angle. Um, it's a bit of a rush trying to get it together to, for today. There's a bit sold on with sticky tape and all sorts, but uh, that's what testing's all about, really. But what I will do, I'll. Uh, I'll move the battery forwards probably another 25 30 mil um, what else is there the motor thrust line is in line with the center with the, with the vertical center of gravity pretty much it's a little bit above but I think it'll be okay I'll, I'll be able to test that once I'm up in the air I can give it full power um, what else was there oh yeah I've set the offset it's quite a bit. I, I didn't know where it was going to be compared to my others, but I, I mean, that's probably, ooh, I don't know, 10, 15 millimetres. But I'll, um, I made a video of it as I was doing that, so it'll follow after this. I'll, I'll edit it in. But apart from that, I mean, it's turned out quite well. I think I started it about just over two weeks ago. So it, it's, it's not taken long at all, really. But to be fair, I'd already got the the tail plane drawings and everything else it was just the fuselage that i had to redesign to configure it for a pusher but anyway that's the gyro 2 So I've had a bit of some trimming hops, I've had to give it a little bit of uh, only a touch of left trim compared to the original gyro, the tractor version. But, uh, and a little bit of down trim or forward stick, whatever you want to call it, forward pitch. Try not to take it too far away because it doesn't make for a good video. I 
can't remember the size of the motor, but it's a 1500kV, which is quite quite high really for an auto gyro. But I've done that for a reason to, to uh, keep the prop diameter down or as minimal as I can. I think it's swinging a, an 8x4 prop. I can't remember. But that is sweet as a nut. Sweet as a nut. I might try without the um, without the lead weight in a minute. And those way. Yeah, the motor's in the right position because it didn't pitch up or try to pitch down when I uh, opened it up. The rudder's quite responsive, just like the, the original. Most blades seem to be spinning okay, so... What I'll do, I'll take it up now and test the um, center of gravity. It's quite docile actually with this motor and prop combination. But what I'm looking for, as most of you are aware, is when I chop the throttle, it should descend forward. If it doesn't, then I've got, not got enough nose weight, so here we go, I'm going to chop the throttle now. Oh, that's fine. See it just moving forward? Oh, I'll, do, I'll bring it round to land and uh, I'll wait for a brighter day. The forecast for the next week doesn't look great, so uh, I'll bring it into land. I'm pretty chuffed with this, to be fair considering it only took a couple of weeks to knock together. Oh. There you go, the Joyru 2. More videos to follow. Thanks for watching, and have a good Christmas.